Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of VegasVIPServices.com. We're standing here, you guys, in front of On the Record. Okay, that is the escalators down the record. There's a big neon sign above me. On the Record. Anyway, On the Record is a pretty cool club. It is open on Wednesday, uh, Friday, and Saturday. And uh, they typically um, do mostly hip hop in here these days. Uh, but they do spend a little old school R&B, a little top 40, a little bit of everything for everybody. But uh, this place is considered one of the deal clubs in Las Vegas. Uh, they do have a great bottle package, a couple of bottles right now. The, the time of the shooting, it's 11.30 all in. You know, we do have a little bit of inflation going on, so that might that might go up. But uh, most nights I can do it. Um, if you want a bigger, you know, have a little bit bigger group, we can do like a three bottle package. Or if you want one of the karaoke rooms upstairs, we can do a different kind of deal for that as well. But um, they're always willing to work with me here, and uh, they, they do appreciate my business. So uh, we always get some of the best tables in the club. Um, and there's really not a bad table in the club, okay? If you want to get on the guest list or get on tickets, you can go on the bumper below and get the links. Uh, this video is going to be mainly about the bottle service and the different options for the tables. And uh, just so you guys know, there is also the Dobley Theater right across the way here. Kind of nice when they have like a big event. Uh, they had Usher here for a long time. I think his residency ran out. But they do have Bruno Mars here sometimes and some other big hitters. Um, so when they have that uh, events going on, like a Friday or Saturday or even a Wednesday, uh, they do get a pretty good rush into this place because it's right across the right across the casino. So uh, just keep that in mind. Now, as far as the bottle service goes, uh, there's basically the tables in the main room. Okay, now there's one kind of like big baller owner table, owner table, kind of sits above everything. Um, it's right next to the bar. That's a pretty popular table. I can get that if you guys want. Um, and then they have like the bar, and then behind the bar, there's kind of like a retractable wall that they do some performances. You know, if you're hang out here, you might catch like a artist. You know, not like a big name artist or anything, but you know, maybe like a musical act or some kind of you know singer or some kind of dancer. And it's pretty cool. Okay, it's a pretty cool little vibe up there. It is kind of a you know less louder music up there, so you can actually have a conversation. And then um, right across from the bar, you're gonna find uh, kind of the walkway, and then there's the DJ, which is a Rolls Royce DJ booth, and then the dance floor tables. Okay, the dance floor tables are the best tables in the club. And uh, there's gonna be one in the middle that's kind of like the back end of the DJ booth. It seats only like two or three people, but it's a cool table right in the center of the action. And then there's like bigger tables to the right and the left of that. All right, now behind that, that's gonna be your upper dance floor tables. And you're gonna find uh, kind of like a fire pit, sorta. Of. It's a fake fire pit in the middle. And there's four tables around that, and then there's another section of four, and then another section of four on the other side of that. Those are also really good tables. Generally, you can fit about eight to 10 up there max. If you got more than that, you're probably gonna need two of those. All right, and then behind those, you're gonna find the karaoke rooms. Okay, there's three karaoke rooms. Uh, those typically go for a little bit higher minimum. Um, I can work out a deal. Usually have a little bit less than online, so hit me up, and uh, we'll work some up for the karaoke rooms. If you wanna do like a karaoke room for part of the night, and then one of the upper dance floor tables right there for part of the night, or all night, um, that might work as well. I've done that several times, all right? And you're gonna find some cool stuff all around the main room. There's gonna be like a uh, you know, pinball area. Obviously, you're gonna see cool wall coverings like blue boxes and uh, old TVs and stuff. It's a pretty good, cool vibe up there. So you guys will like it if you haven't checked out this place. Now, there's also um, the other side, which is kind of called the living room. And the living room, there's gonna be a main bar there. It's not open every night, only on busier nights. We'll have the living room open. And uh, over there, you're gonna find a couple big u boosts um, on the left when you walk in. Um, if we're walking this basically past the DJ, and then there's gonna be some smaller tables in the middle, um, kind of like island tables, if you will, and then there's gonna be a couple larger booths back by the fireplace in the back corner. Um, and that's kind of your living room. And those tables are all pretty good. I mean, if you get one of those tables, don't feel like you're getting a bad table. Those are good tables, okay? Now that opens up, the glass wall opens up on you know busier nights. Uh, that'll open up to the patio area. And on the patio, they have a DJ out there. So there's another DJ on the patio, generally spinning hip hop. There's open air, so you can actually smoke outside. This is a smoke-free hotel and club, but outside you can smoke. And then you have like one table on one side of the double-decker bus, and then another table on the other side of the double-decker bus. And there's a DJ inside the double-decker bus. Now those tables aren't the best tables, but some people like to be outside on the patio. And I've given people those tables before, and they thought they were awesome. So, you know, some people like them, some people don't. And then uh, you kind of walk through the hallway there, there's a bathroom. And then to the right, just past the bathroom, there's gonna be like the secret door for the record parlor. And now there's a couple tables in the record parlor. I don't think they really see them too much or more just to kind of lounge out. People like to go in there, have a drink. It's kind of a hidden room. You can pull vinyl off the wall, put it on, have the DJ put it on the record player, and uh, it's cool mix, mix drinks in there and catch them, you know, catch some tunes and hear some music you want and mingle and socialize. The music's not too loud in there. But uh, if you do want a table in the record parlor, I could probably arrange it. So just let me know. But that's it. That's going to be your table options for on the record. Uh, we do have a lot of packages. Uh, this place combines well with a couple of restaurants right down the, the way here, and uh, it's close to a lot of stuff. So, um, you know, 
like I said, the price is right for a lot of groups that are on a budget. So you can come here and, you know, we can do a men's show. Uh, we can also do a strip club. We can also do, uh, you know, a dinner, limos, etc. Make a nice package for you guys. Or we can just do the straight bottle service package and, um, you know, we'll be setting you up over there. So my number is 773-459-8133. That's my cell phone. Make sure you hit me up if you have any questions. If you like this content, you like me keeping you up to date on all the clubs and what's going on, uh, make sure you like this video. Do subscribe to this channel for more. And I would appreciate a bang on that notifications bell. I'm Brian Pfeiffer signing out here from on the record of the Park MGM. Looking forward to working with you out here in Las Vegas. Let's talk soon. Bye.